Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Monday, the fourth day of December, National Dice Day, National Cookie Day. It is also uh, International Cheetah Day. Uh, what else do we have? Wear Brown Shoes Day. Oh, I didn't do that. And National Sock Day. That makes sense that those you would go together. You did wear socks. I did wear socks. I told Heidi I was thinking of having socks tattooed onto the bottom of my legs, and then I could just go, you know, without. But she said that wouldn't work. Um, <laughs> International Day of Banks as well. So all of that. And then there's some other stuff, too. But if I tell you the whole list, I won't have time to tell you this. It's a Movie Star Monday, and I have a guest joining me. Now, Marcus Scribner is more known for television right now. He's on a TV program called Blackish on ABC oh, yeah. TV and Grownish, which is a spinoff of Blackish. Well, he's got some films out there as well. And there's a brand new one that just came out this weekend. It's called How I Learned to Fly. And I had a chance to watch it ahead of time. I love it when they send me those screener links. Yeah, you do. It's so cool. I'm like, oh, this is like the best. It's one of the best benefits of this job, other than working with Heidi. It's the second best <laughs> benefit of this job. But we're going to chat with Marcus Scribner coming up in a bit. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at BetterCreditCards.com. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Recent survey asked about the annoying things that parents do. It actually was probably more concerned with irritating things new parents do. 69% of people agreed it's annoying when parents use baby talk to speak to their children. You might not really want to hear them, but some examples are cuddles and dolly and the night-night and all of those kind of things. Uh, Nighty-night, tummy, binky, they're the top baby words. Boo-boo, tummy, and wove (laughs) instead of love. You ever say any of those? Mm. Here's the thing: we didn't say, really, we didn't really do that. I say tummy. <clears throat> yeah, tummy. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, nearly half of pet parents admit they use baby talk with their pets. I'm looking at you, Heidi. <laughs> Other annoying things Heidi does. I mean, parents do. Seventy percent said when parents keep bringing the conversation back to their kids, somebody deliberately changes subject and then they bring it right on back. 72% are sick of hearing about kids' bodily functions. They're like, I don't care what happened. It sounds disgusting. I take your word for it. <laughs> exactly. All right. All of that and more if you'd like to read it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that Heinz has dropped a new ad claiming that many people these days are using the company's ketchup packets as their workout supplement of choice? What? I don't know if that's true, but traditionally, athletes have relied on specialized energy gels for quick and easily digestible source of carbs during extended workouts. We don't know why it would be practical for a jogger or a swimmer or a cyclist to try to rip open a tiny, terrible corner of a ketchup packet in mid-competition, but experts do agree the science is sound. Having a readily available option like a ketchup packet could offer crucial energy boost during training or during competition. Really? That so, is interesting. So saying if you see somebody running in a marathon and all of a sudden Sucking they, on a ketchup packet. they rip out a ketchup packet, why do that? Why not just bring a squirt bottle? <laughs> squirt it in your huh. mouth, you know, like you do with water. Well, that would be hard and cumbersome to run with. That's so would a packet full, a pocket full of ketchup packets. I'm just saying. Just a ketchup <laughs> packet would be better than a giant squirt bottle of you ketchup. You slip and fall and it looks like you've been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. The upcoming 14th season of Blue Bud, Blue Bloods rather, will be the last. CBS Police Procedural Television Program. is uh, It's got Donnie Wahlberg and Tom Selleck and a whole bunch of other folks. Anyway, it's going to get its final season, 18 episodes. The first 10 
will air mid-season, kicking off on February 16th on CBS and Paramount+. Plus. So I don't think I've ever seen that. They're also announcing the end of Young Sheldon, which I think your dad likes that, doesn't he? He liked Big Bang Theory. I don't know if he likes Young Sheldon. Okay. Well, Jim Carrey is not planning to head back to Whoville anytime soon. They were trying to get him to reprise his role as the Grinch, and he's like, yeah, how about no? Not interested. And two words are, worlds are going to collide. Karate Kid, there's going to be a new film coming out with both Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. December 13th. I think 13th. I heard a little something about this. Yeah, December 13th of next year, not this year, next year. So Cobra Kai series, there's going to be Very some people from interesting. that. Very interesting. Yeah, it'll be cool to see all of that kind of come together. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Study says the fear of dentistry might be linked to the sound of the dental tools, not the pain. Do you think? I mean, it's awfully. It's this. It's and and I think the um, getting in your personal space aspect of it. I it makes me nervous. My dentist does everything from across the room. I mean, that's very. (laughs) No, they. I don't think they can. But uh, no, I I I can understand where the sound is probably scarier than the act because it doesn't really hurt. You just think it does because of all the sounds. Because of the sound, yeah. yeah. And retailers say sales of 90s era clothing are staging a comeback. Yep. Funny thing is, I've seen people dressed in things, and I'm like, oh, wow, that looks like it's from yep. when I was a kid. So um, did you did you have like uh, specific outfits that you really liked in the 90s that you would love to oh, see come uh, back? Well, I don't know if I would love to see them come back, but of course I had stuff in the 90s that I yeah. just thought was the greatest yeah. ever. But I and, don't know if it needs to come back. I mean, well, this is one of those things where it's like, eh, maybe it might be we on just the way. let that die. <laughs> a good Samaritan who's been surprising strangers with acts of kindness every three years, or every day rather, for three years, has been honored with a statue. 20 year old Sebi Hall, born with a rare chromosome anomaly, works tirelessly to help others and has founded his own charity to encourage others to follow his lead. Since dedicating his life to helping others when he was 17, he's donated 400 coats and blankets to homeless charities. Aww. Gifted 800 toys to children's homes and raised money to buy computers for underprivileged classmates. He's even used his own pocket money to pay for strangers' coffee. Following a search of the UK's kindest people by Kind Snacks, he was crowned the UK's 2023 Kind Hero. And he was honored also with a statue near Tower Bridge in London alongside the likes of Captain Cook and Winston Churchill. Wow. How cool is that? That's pretty great. He's 17. Well, he's 20 now, but he was 17 when he started doing this three years ago. Something every day for other people. What an amazing idea. I love that. I want to do more in 2024. That's going to be my mantra. Do more. 2024. Heidi's making fun of me already. (laughs) She's rolling her eyes. You can't hear that, but I can tell you. Play by play. Heidi's eyes roll now. (laughs) Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest, Marcus Scribner, has been on several TV shows like ABC's Blackish, also a show on ABC called Grown Ish. And now he's in a movie called How I Learned to Fly, and it just hit theaters on Friday. We've got Marcus on the line right now. I had a chance to watch this movie, Marcus, and there are some scenes that would be really, really tough for some people that maybe have gone through some of this stuff in their real life. Yeah, yeah. Um, very difficult. It was it was difficult to film it was definitely a turn for me um acting wise and 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 just you know being feeling like i was in daniel's shoes and soaking up all that emotion each and every day and trying to go home and you know just go about my life was 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 pretty difficult so 
I can't imagine, you know, actually being in a situation like that. It's going to be a tough watch for a lot of people, I think. Now, when I first saw that this movie was coming out, I saw that you were in it from the shows that you're in on TV, and I saw Cedric the Entertainer's in it, and I was thinking maybe it was going to be a funny movie, but I wouldn't say funny is quite the way to, to describe this movie. As a matter of fact, it's a very serious movie, and the subject matter of, of homelessness and these kids kind of being run out of their home, this is something that a lot of people probably are dealing with. Of course, and I think we wanted to be very attentive to that and, and to really portray an emotional story at its core because I think what, what holds you together in, in, in situations like that is is having people to lean on. And, you know, a lot of people don't have anyone to lean on. Luckily, uh, Daniel has Eli to lean on uh, throughout the film, and, and likewise, Eli leans on Daniel. Um, and I think what was so important about uh, how I learned to fly and, and what Simon, our director, uh, portrayed that he wanted was to kind of not only bring the audience down and bring the audience to these characters and, and how dire their situation is, but to also uplift um, and let people know who are in these sorts of situations that there is some hope uh, along the way and at the end of the tunnel. Um, and I think that's what I love so much about How I Learned to Fly is while these characters are just beaten and kicked while they're down, um, there are still good people in the world and, and people who are willing to, to help them along their way and help them along their journey. And um, I, it kind of, it, it inspired me, even even just being on set and getting to, um, getting to step into Daniel's shoes. And one of the things that I thought was really cool in the movie, your older brother in the film at one point puts together a list of this is the way you're going to do things, almost like his Ten Commandments. I think I could have used a list like that when I was growing up. Yeah, yeah. I think it kind of stems from uh, desperation in a way, because, you know, Daniel's an 18-year-old kid. He has no idea what he's doing raising Eli. Um, and he's like, okay, how can I best get this message across to him? And this is coming from the mind of an 18-year-old. He's just like, I'm just going to write a list. These are the laws of the land. You have to abide by them. And if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and it all, of course, comes from love and him wanting to be able to take care of his younger brother. But what do you do when you're... Um, suddenly your life is upended and you're stuck in a situation like this and you're still focused on, on school and trying to get your life right. And, and now you have no money, no income, uh, no family. Um, and you have to support your younger brother who is now mute. Uh, I think it's, it's just an unbelievably tough situation. And, and I think the list definitely stemmed from a little bit of desperation and, and um, I mean, luckily it worked out, but that's always the way I saw it. And as I was watching the film, this time of year, a lot of people are blessed with so many things, but not everybody is blessed. And it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that, you know what, not everybody is in the same situation. So so hopefully more people, when they see this film, will go, what can we do to help people who are maybe not doing so well right now? I agree. I completely agree. I think that's what our goal was with the film. You have characters like Cedric's character or uh, our neighbor who... who kind of tries to step in and be a little bit of a mentor to Eli when he sees what's going on in the house. You have Michelle's character at the laundromat letting us use the facilities. and It kind of goes to show that it, it still, even when you're on your own, it takes a village um, to really uh, um, raise a child or to, to mold someone into um, an individual. And I completely agree. We're at the time of the year right now where everybody's, very grateful and thankful for everything that they have but i feel like these are also the hardest times of the year for people who don't have and i hope this movie kind of inspires people to reach out and help and and talk to people that they know who may be struggling marcus thank you again for your time i appreciate it man appreciate it had a great time again our guest today marcus scribner and the film is out right now it's called how i learned to fly i'll throw a link to the trailer and how you can see it in the show notes for today at john and heidi show.com it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Assuming Rudolph is in the front, there are 40,320 ways to rearrange the other eight reindeer. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. Somebody sat down and calculated that. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The only word in the English language with three consecutive sets of double letters is which? Do you know? I have no idea. Bookkeeper. B-O-O-K-K-E-E-P-E-R. Oh. Bookkeeper. Three sets of double consecutive letters. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Monkeys only smile when they're scared. So if you ever see a monkey smiling, that's because they're freaking out. That's not good. Because I think they're adorable when they smile. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A snail can sleep for three years. Wow. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Scientists don't know what causes the shower curtain effect, where a shower curtain gets blown inward during a running shower. Have you ever oh, that? yeah, that drives me crazy. They don't know why that, that happens. happens. So there's been studies. I think they just want to do the study to watch people take a shower. That's what I think. <laughs> Maybe not. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. About 40% of all of these bought today will get thrown out unused. What are they? Oh. We have some at our house. I think they all get used. I don't know. You have to tell me. Oh, boy. I don't potatoes, know. do they all get used? Oh, yeah. We usually use I don't, potatoes. I think... I think <laughs> Do we use them? potatoes? Very rarely go unused at our house. I was Any say, I'm form of sure. potatoes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we eat all of our potatoes. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at BetterCreditCards.com. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. So now vaping is a sport, although cloud oh, wow. chase contests date back decades. Now the games are blowing up in popularity. Competitive vapors stand back to back as they inhale as much vape as their modified device and lungs allow. Then they exhale before crowds of cloud gazers. Wire gauge, battery, and juice utilize all effects Size, uh, uh, I guess all those things, wire gauge, battery, and juice utilized, all affect the size and density of the cloud. Enthusiasts travel the world to compete for cash prizes, endorsement deals, and custom gear in the competitions put on mainly by vape companies. And blowing out the biggest cloud isn't the only way to win. Some competitors focus on vaping tricks, like making the cloud of smoke into different shapes or moving it in intriguing ways. So I've seen videos online of people I just doing don't that stuff. Think it's, that's, it's not something I'm... No into but no thanks for listening to our weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com these are things to take off the christmas list apparently world against toys causing harm it's a literally watch w-a-t-c-h group watch group has unveiled okay. 10 worst toys of 2023 are you ready for this yeah Disney's The Little Mermaid, King Triton's All-Powerful Trident. It's a blunt injury to your eye issue. Oh, okay. Original Squishmallows uh, Razy, potential suffocation. So a Squishmallow, I don't know what that is. Huh. Soccer Boppers, potential blunt force and impact injuries. Diecast Fast Food Truck, choking hazards. Huh. Our Generation Hop In Dog Carrier, potential choking hazards. Orbeez Seeds Rainbow, potential choking hazards. Splat or ball, dude, perfect blaster, eye injuries. B toys make a medley musical instrument set, uh, ingestion issues and choking injuries. A Zoom O turbo laser disc launcher, face and eye injuries, and Carve Pro stunt scooter. Appar apparently, uh, head injuries and other impact injuries. So, if you want to see the whole list, 
I've got it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today comes from Jane Wagner, who says, When we talk to God, we're praying. When God talks to us, we're schizophrenic. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about that, Uh, but I, I see where you're going with that. Again, that is from Jane Wagner, and it is our quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. This is kind of a cool story. Um, critically endangered Samaritan rhino successfully gives birth in Indonesia. This is a a species where there's very few of these on the planet. Right. And it's a momentous event. Critically endangered rhino welcomed into the world Saturday uh, in Indonesia. Marks a second such birth in the last year, 2023. Offering a glimmer of hope for a species that currently boasts less than 50 on the entire planet. Yeah, so it's kind of a big deal. And I'm looking here. At this rhino. I'm going to send this to you so you can see it, Heidi. It is so adorable. I bet it is. I don't think I've ever seen a baby rhino. I think little baby anything yeah, is probably. adorable. You know, there's some animals that when they come out, they're kind of weird looking. Because like, if you think of the story of the ugly duckling, you know, the swan. Isn't that what that was, is a swan? Well, yeah, but he wasn't ugly. He was just ugly compared to the swans. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So there's some baby animals that are... But he wasn't ugly. Okay. (laughs) I'm not not saying he's ugly. I'm saying he's weird looking. He was not. Okay, whatever. (laughs) Apparently, generations of people telling that tale to other generations of people have all been wrong. Heidi was right. Um, If you'd like to see a photo and a video of this uh, adorable rhino... Um, I've got a link to it in our show notes. I can't, when I said rhino that way, for some reason I thought of Jim Carrey. Me too. <laughs> kind of warming these rhinos. Kind of these rhinos. <laughs> what was the name of that movie? It's Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. That was Pet Detective 2. Yeah. That is the reason he quit doing sequels, by the way. <laughs> so if you think it's a great movie, I think there's some funny parts to it. But he apparently hated it so much, he said, never doing a sequel. Again. <laughs> and then he did later, but he probably shouldn't have because that one didn't turn out great either. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.